everybody out there is saying that boondocking is getting more crowded. And in some places, it is. But that's because everybody keeps going to the same spots that are reviewed on camping apps when they don't have to. Today, we're going to show you some crowded spots on camping apps and camping nearby that's completely free and secluded. Hey everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV. Today, we're in the National Forest in Sisters, Oregon, where I have camped for a couple of years in a row. It's hot, everybody. We are here in the heat dome, and there are still a bunch of people out here boondocking. Seriously, dude, it's gonna be 109 today, and we are shocked how many people are here. Really unreal. This is the same spot that I came to when I first came to Sisters because I found it on a camping app like everybody else. Here's a picture of freecampsites.net for Sisters, Oregon. You'll see that there's one spot, even though this whole area to the left is National Forest. When people go out to search for their boondocking, they look at free campsites or Campendium or the dirt or RV parking, and they'll see that there's a camping spot what they don't sometimes know, and what I didn't know in the beginning, was that those sites are reviewer driven. So that means somebody was nice enough to put a review on there and everybody else sees it and goes to that exact same spot. I was over there with everybody else and I started to wonder, what's across the street? I camped all by myself here for a couple of weeks last year and it was peaceful and amazing and I didn't see another person around. Another spectacular sky. It really almost doesn't look real. I'm not even gonna put a filter on this. I'm just gonna show this to you guys. Just taking this on my cell phone. I cannot believe the colors. It's like the sky's on fire. Well, we're here in a secluded area and we're gonna drive over to where all of the campers are and show you how much other camping is within a mile or two of that spot and nobody's there. We camped right here for a couple of days. Here's another person. Here's two more. And another one. Here's two more. And a tent camper. And another one. And here's another one. That's a lot of people for one spot. Let's just go about a mile down the road so I can show you how much other camping there is here, where there's nobody, and how to find it. Okay, here's how I do it. I pull up a regular Google map of the crowded boondocking spot. You can see on the lower right here, that's where everybody is camping around here. You can even see some people in the satellite view. And then I just look up what the boundaries are for that BLM or that national forest. You can do that in a simple Google search or on a bunch of maps. You can see that I've done it here. The boundaries are huge. So then I just zoom out, take a screenshot of the area, and here I've marked off a whole bunch of places that look like there might be dispersed camping spots. They look like little veins off of the road. You don't just four wheel it out into the middle of the forest. What you wanna do is go down some of these roads and then take a little offshoot into your camping spot. I've marked a bunch here. So we're gonna go check it out, starting with this one. We're turning into spot number three, which is just down here on the left. This is a nice big long spot. Not another person around. Okay, let's go check out the next one. This one's right down the road. And you can even see here on the satellite view, it looks like a big loop. So I think it might be a pull through. And we're taking a left down a really great road where there's more spots. It is a gluttony of riches out here. Look at these great free private camping spots. Ah, this one's a beaut. Really nice. Big, flat. Obviously the Forest Service has done work in here. Really great. If you are with a group of people, 
you could fit, gosh, I don't know, four campers in here. And this one has one, two, three good ways to get in and out if you've got a big rig. We just stopped to check out another good one. And if I'm not mistaken from my map, I think this one is a pull through. Oh yeah, great spot. And just like it looked like on the satellite view, it's a pull through. Ooh, I'm gonna hop out and take a look at this spot, which I didn't see on the map. Sometimes you find the best ones just driving around. Nice, I like this one. Big M private. Well, we found a whole bunch already, but this one down at the end looked pretty cool, so we're gonna go down and check that one out. Here is another great one right off the road. Two great entries and a killer firing. Ooh, this looks like a good one here on the right. Pull in there, Doug. All right. Let's check it out. It's gorgeous here. I prefer this so much to an RV park or just living in a regular sticks and bricks house. I just checked my offline satellite view on the map and I think there's a spot right up here on the left. Yep, here it is. Wow, this is a great spot. Level, the path in wasn't bad. Long enough for my rig. We're definitely coming here. You don't have to camp near another person if you don't want to. It doesn't have to be crowded when you boondock. I hope these tips helped you find some secluded spots of your own if that's what you want. I'm not going to circle this one on a map. I'm keeping this one for myself. I hope to see you all here again next Sunday. Until then, have happy travels and be free.